Yo, holy wall, what's going on, brother? Where are you there? You the office, Abi? I'm on a traffic on a Lagos traffic. Why they come upstairs now, Sha? While he's around, guys, let's just go surprise him, yeah? Yo, see granite. I have granite. I want granite. Alpha, how are you? What's your name? Faith. Faith, I want to buy granite. How much is it? Okay, so let me have 100 naira gram. Let me have two. One for me and one for our guest. Let me have two. Thank you, then. How you doing, sir? Fine, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Allow Ali Adigo. Look, we have here, ladies and gentlemen, multiple time award winning. I bought peace offering for you. I bought granite for you, man. Wow. Wow, Ali Adigo is going to be on fan base. We're going to have a great time. Lawale is here. I'm here, Baba Jide Guerrero. Let's crack it. Let's have fun. Let's eat granite. Let's talk football. Fan base, ladies and gentlemen, it's live. Yo, people, wherever you're watching this from, it's a good, great feel to have you join us. This is, in fact, the very first episode of what is fan base. Now, typically, you see uh, people who like football to maybe go to a studio, have them sit around and chit chat and all, all serious and all tied up, but no, not fan base. Fan base is just easy on the eye, very natural football conversation on the biggest league in the world. Some people may argue that it's not the biggest league in the world. Hey, what do we care? What does he care? In the studio with me today, the studio here in his office is Top Radio. Uh, my name is Babajide Guerrero. I am your host. And my G today is the multiple award winning sports presenter, one of the finest sports presenters in Nigeria, in Africa, in the world, I dare say. My Omi, my boy, my G, my person, on Lawale Omo Adegun. Lawale Adegun, how are you, my brother? Doing good, big What's man. What's going too. on? Yeah, not bad, not bad. How you day? I hear Malaria wants to humble you, man. But you tell Maria no way, man. My contract with those mosquitoes expire, man. You <laughs> have to renew. I don't renew quickly. <laughs> yeah, but, but it's all good. I mean, yeah. see how you hype me like, say, me, I just started like two years ago. Baba, leave that thing. Leave that thing. This is levels here. Yeah. I mean, but, but anyways, anyways yeah, I guess you know, you guys. I mean, me, me, me and Jude is uh, way back, man. Way back. Man. Way, 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 way back. back. Man. I mean, from radio days. Yes, yeah, radio days, right yeah, to yeah, days, yeah, and yeah. now we're here on fan base. It's good to be here. It's good to be here, bro. It is, it is, bro. Okay, so Lawale is one of the finest, like you said. Um, on the radio and uh, of course on TV, uh, but today Lawali is our guest, our very first guest on um, fan base. Lawali, let's talk about English Premier League. Now, what come out all the old sentiments? Do you think that the Premier League is the biggest league in the world? I mean, without doubt, it is. Mm. Um, and I mean, during the La Liga jersey, I mean, Real Madrid, <laughs> but I think, I think, I think it's the Premier League. Mm. So, some will tell you that. You know the best players in the world are not in the Premier League. Yeah. Eden Hazard, yeah. Cristiano Ronaldo, yeah. Lionel Messi. Yeah. But that's not a that's not a good measure. That's mm. not a good barometer. Mm. I mean, you look at the whole package. You look at the commercial package. Mm. You look at the, the 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 fans. You look at everything. The whole package together mm. makes the Premier League absolutely just the best. And absolutely. I mean, when you want to break it down. I mean, normal games like Norwich City up against um, Sheffield uh -huh. still gets the fans into the stadium. I'm not saying you don't get that in La Liga. Absolutely. But I mean, the total package is just, is just crazy. So you, you don't maybe need Hazard, you don't need Ronaldo to be in the Premier League. Uh. But even guess what? Some of those players were even in the Premier League before. So, Absolutely. Um, I think, and I know you think, uh. that the Premier League is the best. All right, so what we try to do with fan base is to make it, like I said, easy on the eye, natural as possible, banter, a lot of banters. Uh, we talk about how well we like our teams. I'm a Manchester United fan. I don't hide it. I hate you, United. You can, see. <laughs> you can see he's already started. So, so on, yeah. on, on Twitter, did they, yeah. So I saw I saw um, a tweet about which jersey will you never ever wear, even if yeah, it's we given to you for, for free. free. I'm not gonna wear Arsenal. I am never going to wear United jersey. What United. is? Why are we on I've, this I've show? I've been presented a jersey, a United jersey, yeah. like twice. I have rejected it. I can't, I can't. I will never. See, guys, I'm, I'm sorry, man. I, I'm, I'm with Olawale on this one. I will never, ever wear an Arsenal jersey. I'm can we, well, can we wait on something? Maybe the okay. next time I'm here, let's okay. do something that, okay, so maybe the next time I'm here, okay. if I fail on that wage, yeah. I wear a United jersey. Yes, that know, works. That works. Exactly. I and think that works. We'll think about something. Yeah, we'll think about something. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about fan base. So basically, it's all about um, you guys, the fans, and then at some point as well, we'll be 
maybe creating a phase where we all can also be together if one of the fans can be together in here and sit here with me wherever you are it's at the convenience of us everywhere is our studio we mic up wear our clothing and then we are on the go and it also has a bit of fantasy football as well of course as a premier league while he's a big fan of fantasy football like myself so at some point there's a segment where we talk about you know how well our teams yeah, right. did yeah right well let's talk about how well some of the teams in the premier league uh, this weekend did um starting with games on um saturday where we saw whoa kai hello Shella. brother it was terrible man first time in 30 years crystal palace coming to manchester united <laughs> Old Trafford. We, we've lost that fear factor i know why are you laughing i don't give a damn <laughs> <laughs> So, so, so while Sanke was on, so I didn't catch the majority of the game. Mm. So I checked my phone. So I was just, I was just, I was just hanging out with a friend. Mm. So I see one nil. Mm. So um, I have the privilege of, of of knowing one of the bookmakers, like mm. one of the the bookmakers. Yeah. So I was just <clears> in a conversation <throat> with him, and he was telling me, "See, while you mark your father, like while I'm gonna I'll call, call you back." back. Yeah. <clears throat> Jack is already so like let me let make me this go, money. You, you get I know that Crystal Palace with United is a big deal for bookies. It is. So it guess is. what? I dropped that phone and United equalized. I'm like, ah, this man's not gonna call me back again. So I rushed in to go watch the rest of the then game. Then came Van Holt, man. And Van Holt, man, and Holt has to win the Ballon d'Or, man. <laughs> yeah, he needs to win Ballon d'Or. So, if you agree so, with Wally winning Ballon d'Or because of Van Holt scoring against United, you guys belong in the. So team so so it scores two one and guess what? My bookie guy calls me. <laughs> that piece excited. Yeah, definitely, one definitely. Money. So, um, I, I know that United are in a, a bad place right now, but I think that United are pressing the self-destruct button. Mm. So, first things first, you're rebuilding, you sell your top scorer last season, Romelu Lukaku, and who are you left with? You left with Rashford, you left with Martial. With Greenwood. I mean, what is with Greenwood? Greenwood. Um, Lingard as a number 10. Lingard hasn't had um, an assist or a goal in 18 months or yeah, in like 18 months of football. Um, with the guy you were supposed to sign, uh, Bruno Fernandes. Yeah. In Fernandes. three weeks already in the Portuguese Super League of the new season, he already has four assists. So imagine how much of an impact he could have made, made. at United yeah. at this point of the season. But I think United are pressing the self-destruct button. It's a good side. It's all a those, good side. All this, all this, all this prophet of doom. This is not going yeah, to happen. Yeah, but honestly, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not too sure about United's prospects this season. Um, I think they'll have an okay season, but honestly, um, the, the the projection is not so good because see, Guerrero, if, yes. Rashford, if, if Rashford gets injured, if Marshall gets injured, where's the goal? Where's the goal going to come from? Is yeah. it from Greenwich, yeah. or whatever is his name. <laughs> Greenwich. No, so, so really <laughs> All right, so yeah, for Manchester United fans, we agree it's not the best of time. But hey, glory, glory, Man United. We just keep moving. We hope and pray. We don't pray. We hope that only on the wheel. Even with three wins in 16 games, did you see that start? Bro? But, 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 but where, how long do you think all is going to start with love? January. January, Max, bro. Bro, January. If it I'm, gets, I'm going to do December. If it gets beyond January, then that means it's White Witch. I'm going to do December. Then Who's the, that coach? Who that coach that was White Witch? I think Philip Trussier, yeah? Yeah, 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 yeah the White Witch doctor. White, white but, doctor. But, you know, a lot of things wrong with United. So, some of the fans also are not happy with a guy never criticized for Pogba mm. the penalty incident. Yeah. But guess what? Rashford misses again. And Absolutely. They are all out for Gary Neville again. Mm. You know, mm. why didn't he criticize, you know, Michael Rash. Rashford? I, mm. I, th I think, and I thought that was selective criticism from Gary Neville. Okay, indeed. I, I thought the whole penalty thing was overblown. It is, it mm. is indeed. I agree with you on that one. Uh, let's talk about other games now, okay. Um Sheffield United losing at home to Leicester City. At Watford, Losing at home to West Ham. In fact, it's the first time since Opta started gathering stats that they have six away wins in a weekend. It was absolutely yeah. significant wins. But speaking of away wins, you guys, Arsenal, going to the Anfield. Were you thinking, no lie, Wally, were you guys thinking you could actually get a result? No, no one was actually thinking. Yeah. So Arsenal in a good form, but Arsenal in three previous meetings at Anfield, yeah. I considered 12. I mm. scored only twice. So Whoa. where was the win and where were the goals going to come from? It wasn't no. going to happen suddenly. Against the Liverpool side that were on the up, that had Salah, mm. Femi, mm. and man, mm. nah, 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 nah. So man, my hopes were, were not. But I was looking forward to seeing a progression in performance. Mm. So maybe that was what I saw. Okay, so the first half almost went according to plan. Mm. You know, if not for that, that header from Martip, 
I thought Arsenal contained them well. Yeah. You know, second half, Arsenal were overrun the early goal they considered. Mm. But I thought that Arsenal left the game with a, with, a, with a good feeling going to the next game. You know, the next game is the North London derby against Spurs. It is. So it was important to go into that next game with a bit of a good feeling. And mm. I thought, Arsenal, man, maybe every player also hasn't returned yet. Ozil is not back yet. But, I mean, Ceballos was... Invincible yeah, or invisible? Invisible, actually. David Luiz. You know something? I took, I tweeted something last week. He said, you know, that time when he played well against Burnley, pinpoint pass here yeah. and there. And then I said, they are Arsenal fans. When I would do score pass to Mana? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, that, and, that's, and that's the thing. When you sign great players, yeah. I'm, not sh- I'm not sure you should be rating them against the lesser lights. Mm. It's what they bring to the table against the big boys. Big boys. Yeah, big so boys. that's when we can come all out and say, okay, this is what we think about this player. So, mm. I mean, players like Ceballos need to stand up when it comes to the derby, mm. when it comes to playing United, Man City. Mm. And I think that's when I can really come out and read this players. Okay, you now I was just prepping my um, fantasy team already. But hey, you can follow us on Twitter. It's fanbase at fanbase, one word on Twitter. And of course, it's on your screen and Instagram as well at fanbase underscore Niho. That's N I H U. It's on your screen shortly. So, yeah. Half time here yeah, on um, fan base, chilling with Lawale Adigo. With Phillips United. Yeah. Oh, no, nah, man. You're not going to do that, guys. Yeah. Also, we'll go right back for a break. And when we return, it's time to talk about FPL, Fantasy Premier League. We'll be right back. So it's three goes to one. No, 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 no. no okay, no, we're not going to count no, that. No, okay, okay, cool. No. All right, so uh, caution away. All right, are you ready? Let's yeah. go. So, Come on, United. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. But, but today, now this brings back the memories. Tell me, man. Yeah, old time memories, man, yes. guys. I'm not sure how many people remember oh. playing <laughs> four goals to one on the streets of Lagos or anywhere you are. You used to call um, Sangba. This is where we uh, basically just control a lot of players and have a lot of fun like this. But shortly, we'll be talking about uh, FPL team. Yeah, this is and like fantasy, is it? Yeah, is it? it is. It is. It's also fantasy. Oh my god, this is. So much fun we're having here, guys. But hey, we, have, we hope you're having the same. You can also burn some calories with this. Pleasure mm-hmm. and fun. <laughs> yeah. That's me cheating, but hey, yeah. I guess it's allowed after all. There's no VAR in this. So yeah, no VAR. There's no need to look for offside position of play in any way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great, you know, good feel. That's four goals to one, you know. That's Manchester United. I think if you can't win in real life, we can win on the table soccer. Angle. Yeah, that's an angle right there. So let's talk <laughs> about FPL now. It was an interesting week yeah. right there for a lot of uh, performers right there. If you had Salah in your team, let me look at what your team looks like anyway. Tell me, who had the highest number of points in your own team, um, Lawali? Yeah, um, it was Timo Puki. And a lot you of people. Yeah, on. yeah. One of the cheap guys, man. I didn't get that guy in my team I, earlier. I've had, I've had Puki. Two weeks now. Are you for real? So I have to keep the week. It's gonna hatch. Hatch week, G. Then that's like that's like roughly thirty points right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he your captain too? He's my vice captain. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's not bad. So, yeah, so yeah. I had him. I had him when it's for hatch against Newcastle. Mm. I'm also adding when it's for against Chelsea. Nice. But nice. as soon as they are gone on to win that game, I would have really, really yeah. been really out of point. But yeah. Timo Puki was was really major for me. Mm. Um, I also had Firmino. He didn't score. Yeah. I wish he had. I wish he had scored, but um, it was still a part, part of the winning team. Yeah, sure. Apparently, he had an over mail. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. It didn't it didn't it didn't. And funny enough, I wanted to replace over mail with one at Salah. But I only had one free kick. Okay. And he had two. Two. Okay. Um, and, and Salah was the most transparent player yeah, of, of yeah, the three. Yes, he is. He made sure he proved the point to everyone transparent. Absolutely. You know, by scoring twice. Absolutely. But the top performers for me um, has to be Sergio Honawero. Yeah. He's my captain. He scored two oh, goals. Captain? Yeah, my captain. Oh. De Bruyne is my vice captain. Oh. Then I got De Bruyne in, I got Aguero in. I also got Laporte, and then the good thing for me was that Alexander Trent Arnold came in with an assist. Yeah. So he yeah. got five points, but Fat Sadi, they couldn't keep a clean sheet. De Gea couldn't keep a clean sheet as well. I mean, I think I'm one of the few Manchester United fans who has, what now, maybe just one United player in there, and I just think he's there. But sadly, I think I have to transfer him as well because I, I don't I think, see him I, I, clean I, think, I think maybe De Gea also is suffering from a deep in form. Mm. Um, we thought that would have ended when he started all his contract relations with United, but. Mm. I thought the goal he conceded against Van Aanholt 
Maybe you could have kept it sometimes, you know Maybe. the rule. Yeah. Don't get beaten at your near post. Absolutely. Absolutely. I thought I was done better. Well, the, the top performance, uh, well, the dream team for the game three of the um, FPL will see Gunn, goalkeeper for Southampton in goal. Van Ayer, he had to be in that team, bro. Yeah. Um, scoring against Manchester United. He had 10 points in there. End girls of Aston Villa. Um, first the guard, tall, big man, making a big entrance right there as well. Mo Salah, um, like you said, most transferred player in into the team. Tammy Abraham. He was able to get the monkey off his back eventually and getting two goals against um, Norwich. Seb Alla, he needed that goal. Yeah. And then 13 Norwich. as well. And then Sergio Huna Uero. Top transfer player this week has to be Puki. And that's why I said, how did he get Puki? Because yeah. everybody wants Puki. So, so Puki's not going to stay on me for long. You know, okay. because I mean, this whole new form is not going to last. But, but mm. if you also look at the trend, mm. it's your, your bargains that are doing well. Your premium buys are not really, really too. So I can. They yeah. didn't score against Newcastle. Yeah. yeah. Um, Sergio Aguero has only bossed life after game with three. Mm. So your big guys, even your big defenders, are not bossing life. It's only Absolutely. the best lights who are doing well right now. Your David the years are not keeping clean sheets. Very true. Your Bamiyan still hasn't got off the mark yet. But I think fun fact about Sergio Aguero, and that's why I think I will be trying to get him this weekend, mm. is the fact that next up is Brighton, Norwich, Watford. Mm. Three teams who are considered 18 this season. Three teams who are Guerrero have scored 15 and 5 against, 5 assists against. So it seems to do well. Against them. I mean, I've got to score, score against these three. So I think that. In the next three weeks, you should be looking at Aguero too. Yeah, I think everybody should look at Aguero and everybody should look at this guy as well. Um, Norwich City's Cantwell. It looks like that guy that can get you goals and assists here and there. Yeah, not yeah. bad enough this, for this, this point. This, this guy took his goal well, but another player, if you look at Norwich, bargain by Buendia. Mm, yeah. True, Buendia. Yeah, Another good bag. I mean, it creates a lot of goals, mm. a lot of passes too. All right, so uh, top teams, top players transferred out this week has to be Ari Kane, just like Lavali said, he knows his football, of course. Ndombele injured, of course. Rashford, King, and Wambi Saka. That's bad for Manchester United. Got two players from that are mostly transferred out. A lot of people had to do away with them. Meanwhile, De Bruyne, Mount, and Abraham were the top transfer in. You know what, for a fact, guys, um, we can talk the talk and then it's time to walk the walk. So the idea behind all of this is that I'm going to trash my boy on our day going some game, yeah? So Arsenal Tottenham is playing. And you can see on the screen, it's me today. I'm humble. So let's go to game plan, gentlemen. Let's go see how I'm going to whoop you silly. So it's game plan and then Arsenal will be playing Tottenham. Let's go. You know, I know what, any, anything that resembles Tottenham also looks like United. So ah, honest, man, honest, man. Are we going to drop this? You know what? It's I'm fine. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay, it's okay. I don't want to play Sissoko. Guys, remember you can follow um, Fanbase on social media. It's at Fanbase on Twitter. And then it's also Fanbase underscore Nifu um, on Instagram. My name is Papa Chide Guerrero. And we will be sitting just like this with some of the finest football heads in Nigeria to have fun, you know, like this. You have no idea where my camera guy is sitting right now taking his shots. <laughs> but it's just for the good of the production. This is a fantastic job. Absolutely. It's scared to work, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's scared to work. I mean, okay. watch yourself being beaten blue, mm. black, and yellow. All right, let's go. Oh, well, you're 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 my first oh, okay. Oh, okay, thank God. Thank God. That's Seven. lucky. I'm Sabina Living God. Uh, I am Sabina Living God, man. Man, my leg never touch ball. Are you joking me? <laughs> hey! Okay. Oh, wow. Ozil. <clears throat> well, we, we, we just, we just, like they say in Yoruba parents, that's your name, but I'm cool. Meaning, just bring the bread from the pouch. So, yeah, let's see how this goes anyway. Oh. Harry Kane, come on, man. Do not let your real life form. But, but, but what's, really, what's wrong with Harry Kane these days? I mean, he was drifting to the wings and the game against Newcastle. I, I think he's doing too much. I think he sometimes forgets the fact that he's just like a centre forward. I, I think that Spurs, you know, generally, it, it, they've had, they have issues with um, a couple of departments. Okay, so look at that. There's Sanchez and um, Rose. That yeah. axis of their defence has been very suspect this yes. season. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they need to bring it to back. I, I used to like Davidson. I think he's one of those very business like, yeah, very yeah. muscular. No, but, no but I'm not so sure his partnership with Rose is good. 
Um, in midfield also, um, no Celso hasn't really gelled in. No. Everything's not starting games. No. So, so if this guy is not gelling, they won't be too much service. Um, yeah. I think the end of the game last week against Newcastle. Oh wow! Ah, no, that's a goal, man. Dele Ali. That guy's gonna poke you guys in the face today. Ah. Weekend. And goal, speaking yeah. of Dele Ali, we haven't seen him this season. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. We haven't seen him this season. season. Yeah. There's so much unhappiness in that sports camp. You guys will feel that. Even Pochettino coming out to say that it will take 10 years, I think. Yeah, years. yeah. But, but Poch also, uh, after the game, was, was talking about the lack of unity mm. in the team. You know, so, I mean, you have to read a bit into that. That the, the team was lacking in passion, unity, and desire. So, mm. I, think I think it's, it's something, something they'll probably have to work on going mm. forward. Mm. Uh, but it's, it's actually, actually a very good team. team. And, and see, it's just the beginning of the season. Um, we'll also look at predictions at some point as well. But for now, let's talk about Chelsea. Um, and Frank Lampard. Are you one of those people who feel uh, Frank too early, too soon to come to Chelsea? No, no, no. No, I think if you're young enough, you're good enough. That's, that's mm. what I think. Mm. And honestly, I think that all of our um, all of the predictions about all the predictions of doom about Chelsea season mm. is all overblown. I think Chelsea actually is decent side. A good side. They play some good football. Even yeah, if they lost it to United. Mm. I mean, they played well. losing to Liverpool at the um, Super Cup. Yeah, they, they played well. They acquitted themselves really well. Mm. Um, aside, aside from the United, United loss, mm. I think they played well. Against Norwich, I mean, if you're expecting solidity defensively from Chelsea this season, then maybe you should be watching more Sheffield United or whatever. Because Chelsea are not going to give you that this season. Oh, man. Oh, my word. Come on. Yeah, that's Toby. Toby. God, we had this game already. Come on, man. And finally, and allowed, Tommy has started playing against on a porch. He was someone who was supposed to go for around 25 million pounds. Yeah, to Manchester United. Yeah. And interestingly, you know what? This is actually something typical sports would do. And you always yeah, true, 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 communication true, true, in there. True, 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 true. Talk to me, man. Your numbers. Tottenham, Arsenal. What do you think? I think that Spurs, these days, have got Arsenal's numbers in the derby. Mm -hmm. Um, I started anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah cool. they, have, they, they have also numbers in the derbies. Mm. Um, I think they'll win. Mm. So Arsenal are playing well, but Spurs also are yet to click into gear. Uh, and I can't, I can't trust Arsenal right now. Mm. David Luiz at the back, but honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's talk about David Luiz at the back. A lot of people have issues, you know, with David. I don't. I think he's a decent centre back, but he's just been. Maybe a little bit. Let me give you a very cracking start about, about David Luiz. Tell me. Since, since he's been in the Premier League. He's only made two errors that have led to goals. Wow. Yeah. So, so for all the criticism he gets, man, that guy is a top defender. Mm. So, mm. and I think he also had when Gary Neville painted him as a, as a PlayStation defender. So yeah. everyone started, you know, Gary, yeah. that guy that guy get about. bad mouth. Yeah, he does a talk, talk most times just to hurt people. So I, I, I think he's actually a good defender. I think he's going to improve Arsenal at the back. But we also know that the occasional errors are always coming. So. Um, I, I like to see him really prove himself. Mm. Um, I think the, the knock on that will be a big test. But I think Spurs, with Harry Kane up there, um, we'll Chris and Eric will likely start this one again. Mm. Lamela. I, I just feel that there'll be a bit too much for us. But, okay. you know, the plus for us is that it's at, it's at the Emirates. Mm -hmm. And it is a debut. Where things can go right or wrong. But I think, I think Spurs will just find a way past it. Two okay. One. Two one. All right. All right. Well, I think. But what will what, 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 what be your prediction? Well, in all fairness, I think I don't like Arsenal. I've never eaten it. In fact, Arsenal's defeat is my joy. So I'm looking at, yes, I said it. I'm looking at the chances of Tottenham maybe picking up 2 0. I don't know, for the sake of. Um, ah, come on, man. Ali, 2 goes to 1, I think, or 2 0. So for the first time, we are unified. So I 2 0. Yes, yeah. we are unified. Well, unified let's stick to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah, so um, let's talk about another feature. Now. Okay. United will take their bad form. To the Saints, and hopefully, they don't come out as Saints. I pray, <laughs> I pray they get hurt as the match United fans, right? I hope they win. But really, what's your number on that? Gide, it's, 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 it's a banana skin game mm. because Southampton are coming off a very, very impressive result mm. against um, Burnley. Burnley? Mm. Um, they've got and a Burnley new manager, in, um, the, the German guy mm. who joined them last season. Mm. Asen Hato? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rafa Hato. Yeah. Um, he used to be with Leipzig. Yeah, you know, when we used to cover the Bundesliga, yeah, the Bundesliga. we used to show love him there. Yeah, yeah. Back, back, back and he had this progressive yeah. future. So, he can play ball, so he can it's, play it's really a few stars in to Southampton. They're all action, full of running, yeah. full of back pressing. And forth. Yeah. Um, they've got Redmond scored again. Mm. Jennifer just joined them, scored again last mm. weekend. 
So, so I think United, United have to be very, 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 very weary. Mm. And um, it's a game I'm not too sure United are going to win. I think probably any number. In a draw, you want to put a number on it? I think 1-1. I think 1-1. One, one. One, one. I think United will nick this one. I think United will try to... Um, you know, uh, if I thought they have any reputation, try to keep up, and I think it's going to be one go to nil. Let me say one go to nil. Well, 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, um, Crystal Palace, they return to their very small bedroom mm -hmm. apartment, um, mm -hmm. stadium, the Stellos Park, one of yeah. the smallest in the world. The house is, you know, big games, they'll be playing them, ask them there. Aston Villa, thank God, you're not going to be Yeah, uh, well, Aston Villa definitely will look to maybe pick up another huge points you know going forward but i think crystal palace would want to continue because you don't beat manchester united at home and then you you can't win against aston villa right it's surprised it doesn't work that way so you know the, the way it works is that the small teams are always revved up against the big teams so True. they can always go back to their volume both of them are small teams right? i mean it's just, it's just it's just wolves. i mean it's it's wolves crazy. Crazy. yeah okay, okay so honestly beat wolves home in the way last season, season. So, so they were always winning points from the big boys and winning it to, to the small teams. Yeah, exactly. So um, for, for Palace, um, they just scored their first goal of the United. Or their first goal of the United. So, so that's, that's enough for them. Yeah. Uh, just have to mention yeah, that, right? Yeah, force of course. Yeah. But yeah. I think Palace, um, they just, just need to get, get off the mark. And we first half just need to get in the mood. I think it should be an easy for Palace. You know, numbers please. You know, we are a numbers person. So numbers please. That's Palace against... Aston Villa? I, th I, th I, th I think I think I think Villa will score. Mm. The, the the Smith side is a team that is used to score anywhere and mm. um, all the way. I think I'll do a two one. Two one. Yeah. I think I second you right on that, but I think it's going to be two 0 I think Crystal Palace will do their best to you know keep it clean. Yeah, yeah. I feel like the back, back has been major for them, so mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. clean should be on them. Wealth of experience yeah. right there for Gary. Then let's talk about the champions. Champion is champion is ole ole ole. It, it looks that Steve is going to be another Manchester City season. I'm not sure. Yeah, they are just two points still early days, but I think it's going to be a walk in the park. You know, as they take on Brighton. You mentioned something earlier when we were playing Sangba. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, we, we mentioned something earlier about Sergio Huneguero having a commendable. Um, record yeah. against yeah. some of these teams, and you think he's going to come to the party again? Yeah, he will. I mean, Gabriel Jesus is injured again, I think. Yeah, yeah. he's out injured, so it gives him a, a lot of time to play again. Yeah. And he likes playing when there's Kevin De Bruyne, when there's everyone around him. So, um, I mean, he should, he should get a couple of goals again. Yeah. There shouldn't be much much analysis on this one. I think City should win this one easily. Yeah, yeah. so I think score goals. Okay, score goals for you. I think they will do a 4 nil. Yeah, yeah they will do a 4 nil. For me, to 4 nil actually. For me, to 4 nil. Uh, Newcastle picking up win at the Tottenham Stadium. Now, because Newcastle is like a house on fire these days, the fans are in Logan Edge, why should you stack um, Rafa? Um, the, we don't know who's going to own Newcastle by the end of the season. Well, congratulations to you, anyways. Two goes to one. Arsenal won. I remember. That's what I predicted. Yeah. Spurs to win 2 yeah, 1. 2 1, yeah. So who knows? So we have a rematch, by the way. Uh, maybe things could change. So, so you look at the, all of this and you're feeling they needed that win against Tottenham and it didn't come easy. In fact, that's the first time we're seeing in recent times where a team with lesser possession went on to win the yeah. game. In the Premier League, they had 27, 28 there about possession in all of the game. You have a feeling that if you play Tottenham Hotspur and then you go play Watford, Watford who lost at home to West Ham United, it's a banana skin game this one too. Yeah, what's going to happen in poor season? Mm. Um, really, really poor season or let's say a poor start. Mm. But it's it's and they, and they, don't have, they don't have Troy Dini for the yeah, next couple yeah, of months yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, but, but what for that to a good side? I think, I think, I think it's, it's just a matter of them just season, getting things, getting the basics right. It's a matter of them, gives them an injection. They still be fine. I yeah. think what for that good side. But Newcastle, I feel like they give a defensive masterclass against Spurs. I mean, part of the Spurs possession, all the numbers you build up in possession starts. You, they, didn't, they didn't hurt Newcastle. Absolutely. They didn't yeah. create much like, yeah. chances. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. Lascelles, Dormet, did yeah. fine. I mean, Lascelles left the game because of injury at the uh, of. But Dormet and the rest of the guys, Rafa and Gold, they had a good, good game. Yeah. And up front, Joel Linton was, was, was a nuisance. It was what you needed from yeah. any strike. It was a nuisance. He was forward. making a nuisance of himself. And, and for, for the, the first, first time, time, I think in two years, um, Atu, the yeah. Ghanaian, yeah. had yeah. an assist. He yeah. created the goal. And, and also walked away. How can you be a footballer and not even have goal assist? <laughs> how, how did they play? It, it happens a lot of times. But I thought Newcastle would need to bring that performance 
uh, you know, yeah. from, from Spurs Stadium, they need to bring it um, to the Mark Five. I think they should, they should do a one nil. One nil. Yeah. I think I actually think this could end up in a draw. I think uh, what God would um, want to get um, Dre in good scoring positions and. Uh, if they get Pereira before this game starts, and, and of course, if um, Dilo Phil, yes. Dilo Phil came off the bar against the West. Yeah, he's yeah, one of those decent players. Yeah, he did. Uh, what for that goal pace? That, that pace will hurt Newcastle, um, yeah. obviously. But I think that if, if they can be solid in, in those areas, Newcastle, they can stop Watford from scoring. So, um, finally, let's talk about uh, Burnley and um, Liverpool. Uh, this looks like a game that is going to be all attack versus all defence, but with a mix of knowing that. There's a certain Ashley Barnes. Yeah. That guy is difficult. The guy they play like beasts sometimes. He looks big, he's strong, is 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 huge. He can out muscle defenders, he can do everything you want in the center back, and he's also intelligent. And he's, he's also, like right he's also an FPL bargain. Yeah, yeah, yes. I think he's six point five million right now. Mm. You should try and get him on the FPL team. I have him actually. Oh, I have him actually. Fantastic. Yeah, he gave me like five points last time because he scored, you know, um in that game. But you have a feel that this is a go-go, yeah? Liverpool, I don't see them playing, keeping clean sheet, especially with Adrian in the back. So, I, I, I'm not too sure... Are we going to have a rematch? Of course, of course. Uh, so, let's let's go. Go. so yeah. I'm, I'm not too sure that... I think Adrian will get a lot of protection um, mm. from Virgil van Dijk and Adrian Martip. Mm. I don't think Liverpool will consider him. Do you still think that's the best partnership, Martip van Dijk? Some people think it's Gomez and... Uh, yeah, well, Gomez, Gomez needs to save it. it. Uh, mm. So, if he's, he's not going to save it, it, then I think Martip, Martip is doing a fantastic job. So, so, okay, from the top of your head, because you've been in this game for a while, um, Wally. Who do you think say, makes sense as a defender, centre back, proper centre back, apart from you know from VD, VVD um, of Liverpool? Top three. Yeah, yeah my, my, my top, top three. three. Yeah, yeah. 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 Maybe, Maybe my work is my key of that, right? <laughs> I have to, to put, put him in there. Um, he's proven in the last season. season. Mm. Um, so Ben so Jordan has to make the cut. I like Matisse the Lich. He's young. He makes mistakes. We saw that a lot of that in the Nations League. We saw a lot of that Ajax last season, especially in the game against um, Spurs. Mm. But I think, but I think that, that is going to be one of the best defenders in the world in the future. Mm. So he has to get in there. Um, I'm, I'm tempted to go with Kuli Bali, but you know, every, every time, time I try, I try to, to watch him, him you know, and say, okay, this is when I'm going to decide my best defender, he just, <laughs> it just doesn't convince me. I think the first time was against um, was the Champions League. Mm. Um, the, the next time was just this weekend against Fiorentina, so I'm not going to put him in there. Yeah. I think Kelly and Bonucci are past their shelf, shelf date. Mm. Um, so, so I'm going to do Jack Pique, not because Jack Pique is 17 or 20 years old, mm. but I think that is silently being the best, best defender in the Liga, and silently being one of Barcelona's best players, such as Lionel Messi. So I'll do Pique, Matisse de Ligt, and Virgil van Dijk in no particular order. Okay, so about the predictions, about the numbers, what do you think? Burnley Liverpool. I think Liverpool does do a quiet job, professional job, going mm. there, not too spectacular. Mm. Get, get the result, get the goals. Get the job done. And it's Salamani 2 0. 2 0. Well, I think um, Liverpool or Burnley, for the sake of my own FPL, oh, well, I'm going to think 3 1. Bounce to score and um, maybe um, trying to make an assist again. About Bounce to score. So, all right, that's the lot we can take on this edition of Fanbase. Remember, you can follow us on all social media platforms. Uh, we're tired of having sports being or football being discussed in studios with big suits and everybody serious and all. This is easy on the eye. This is on the go. Wherever you are is your studio. It's our studio. You can see right now I'm at the top radio with my homie Holy Wow and we're having a time of our lives. You know, it won't be the first game, but hey, this is the second game and it's still struggling to get you know a goal. But not standing anyways. I'll probably just come back and win, right, Wally? Okay. You wish. <laughs> So that's, that's a lot we can take. take. Uh, you can follow us on social media. Yeah. And Twitter is at fanbase. And um, Instagram is at fanbase underscore Niho. Niho is N I H U. It's hard to multitask because I'm talking into the camera to you guys and I'm trying to let not this man score me. Abo Wali Adibon, we want to thank you so very much for being um, the very first guest on fanbase. First of many times, I should say, yeah? Yeah, I, 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 I want to believe so. It's, uh, I'm, I'm so happy that I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm Making debut, yeah. You've made so many debuts, yeah. Broken true. so many records, true, true, true. Daniel, true, 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 true. I mean, we'll pay that deal, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, so. absolutely. We deserve some accolades, <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's good to be here, especially for, for you, Jide Guerrero. And um, uh, I'm sure that um, fan base, 
it's going to get a lot of people talking. Absolutely. Uh, That's the idea, man. Of course, speaking of our fan base, we can also join our own um, FPL um, league. It's right there on your screen. The code to join is right there on your screen. You don't have to do much. Just go there. Um, it's a private league. And of course, um, do well to join up. And we're looking forward to having your thoughts. And maybe at some point, we'll have one of you guys um, being in the studio um, with me in here. And the studio will be your place of convenience. That's a lot we can say, guys. Um, we're done and dusted. I'm tired of talking. I need to play some games. I'll see you guys later. Babaji the Guerrero signing out on Fanbase. Remember, follow it all out on social media. Bye for now.